that case, we let the wrong one in. Tonight we're going to let the right one in. I... Huh? Huh? It's Cheddar Bunny? We're going to be watching... Not, we're, not American Horror. Woof, woof, woof. Tonight we're going to be watching Let the Right One In. I dropped my Cheddar Bunny. From Thomas Alfredson. Did by somebody. <laughs> it's a movie from the past. Two geeks on a couch. We're, we're apparently tired. we're tired. What we really want to be doing is watching Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, I need mean, Jeff. I but y'all will let us. I would really like some Jeff Goldblum therapy tonight. That is one big pile of shit. My name is Friedel. They them pronouns. Edward. He him pronoun. Mm hmm. And we're here to watch and react to horror movies for your viewing party. We're also going to dissect them with a fine, sharp blade of our minds. I thought you said we were going to dissect them, and I was like, hang on. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to go overseas for the start of an overseas series where we're going to watch the Swedish film from 2008. Let, Let the, right the right one, one in. in. One of my top rotating five vampire this is films. The best vampire movie ever, according to the Washington Examiner. Okay, well, I, I don't agree I don't with that. I don't agree with that, but this is a really amazing movie. It's a movie. really amazing film. We've both seen it. Clearly. We haven't yes. seen it in a while. However, this was recommended to us from our lovely Patreon subscribers. Mm -hmm. If you would like to check that out and give this channel some support, head, head on, on over. To Patreon. Any amount of generosity that you can offer us is incredibly appreciated. And you can do things like vote on what we get to watch. That's right. And this was a movie that they voted on for us to watch for our overseas series, and we're super excited to revisit this. Yes. Okay, knife under the mattress. I actually really enjoy the slow burn of this film. Yes. I like slow burns in general, especially if the payoff is really good and the payoff of the- Bullying boob, ow, Oh God, why are kids such jerks? What's that contraption? The thing I'm gonna drug you with. That's right. Tell totally forgot about that. Yep. It's brutal. It is brutal. Snow at night almost gives it like a black and white feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's interesting because there's definitely something about the reflectiveness of the snow yeah. that feels almost like it has its own quality of violence in the way that it lights everything up. Right. It's very. It's very it's, stark. Yeah. It's uncharacteristically bright. For yes. What's happening in the movie? All this high contrast desaturation really makes the blood red pop too. Mm -hmm. Or just even all the red tones, like right. the red of his mouth, yeah, the yeah, red of the leaning. door being locked. I'm sneakily stealing the newspaper. As you do. Looks what? Just so challenging. Yes. To deal with. Difficult and thankless. Yeah. I've never noticed how those look like drops of blood. Yeah. That's fucked up. This whole thing is fucked up. Yeah. I hated gym class. It's the worst. It's the worst. The outfits that they would put you in. Oh my god. Awful. They never fit right. Yeah. No. If I wasn't a girl, would you like me anyway? What's interesting is that that can both be coded or read as I'm not a girl, but also if you would you like me if I wasn't human? Mm. Right? 
Like, right, right. Would you like me if I was like wasn't a girl? Wasn't like, a girl, not just gender, but a girl as a human, right? I like these scenes in these movies where these characters are bullied and have a hard time, like in Carrie, where they show them having moments of levity and happiness. And, mm -hmm. like, totally, when they're at ease. Yeah. Stark color palette with yeah. these monochromatic scenes are really beautiful. Perfect. Scaling buildings as a vampire <laughs> skill is always one where I'm like, who developed that that piece? I mean, it's clearly it's a very, Dracula throwback, it's very right? very reptile, reptilian. Take some deep breaths. If this is as okay. bad as I remember this being. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's worse. Similar, but worse. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I forgot this is so violent. It's really, it is violent. I remembered it was very slow, and I had this moment of like, is there going to be a lot to react to in this movie? It's painful and sweet and horrifying. Yeah. And I think it's made more horrifying by the way that it's painfully sweet. I kind of read on the internet that Oscar um, and Eli are perfect for each other because Eli's a vampire and Oscar's about to become a serial killer. <laughs> so Shit just went off the rails fast. <laughs> that fucking... Whoa! Oh, that's... That's <laughs> upsetting. I... Uh... Oh, there's a clash poster in there. No. That was a sound. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. You're in your thing, I know not about. What? Really? That's not a tweet. Wow. You're a jävla iskall. Wow. This part. Did she turn? Uh... <laughs> Cats are apparently great vampire detectors. Yes. Uh, get yourself a cat. Wow. CG cat. CG cat. <laughs> oh. Oh God. <laughs> Wait. Get yourself many cats, because it'll just they'll just take out the vampire that comes in your house. That escalated quickly. You mean escalated? Um. Whoa. It was a mistake. Bad choices are happening here. Yep. Knew that knife was mm. coming in at some point. It's like, I'm just gonna yeah. let this play out. Oh. Mirroring that awkward hug from earlier. Mm -hmm. It's really bad editing. There was blood on his face. Yeah, that yeah. jacket's not trustworthy. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is coming back to me. Yeah. Mm hmm That's a head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the right one, 
Amen. All right, so what did you think all these years later? Especially having not remembered a, that was good, good. a good deal of it. That was really good. I love the slow burn. Mm -hmm. I love the payoff. I love the subtlety mm -hmm. of all of the cinematography. Yeah. All of it. Although it is a little, it still is a little strange to me that that one ice skating scene is so colorful when like every other shot has one bit of color. One thing that's colorful. I have a theory about that. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. I often wonder if that scene is so saturated with color and so many different types of color because in that scene we see Oscar make a choice to defend himself. Yeah. Right. And just sort of um and yeah. in and in I uh, guess in that sort of align himself with Eli in a different way. I don't know. Like No, I think you're right and I had that thought at some point and then forgot it. Watching it really makes me want to read the novel. Read the novel, which you haven't done. Which I have not done. It still hits me as a queer love story. Mm -hmm. I absolutely see that. Yeah. It's interesting because I didn't, I didn't have that awareness the first time I watched it. Mm. And still often think of the character as a woman. Mm -hmm. And, and you're, they make, yeah, you're right. Like, I don't remember, I don't recall them making a complete point out of showing you that, you know, she was they were mutilated mm -hmm. and they had they, they specifically say i'm not a girl mm -hmm. yes i also like that they don't make an issue of it he's like he's more bothered by the murder yeah than he is he's... by gender or lack of a gender identity yeah oh yeah i'd be interested to see how how that's sort of flushed out in the novel yeah me too me because too. they just they kind of gloss over it here and you don't know if they did that to themselves or mm -hmm. somebody else did that you don't really get a sense of what happened there yes you really don't. It's interesting. There's so much. There's, you know, reading Men, Women, and Chainsaws, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of talk about gender fluidity in horror movies, mm -hmm. particularly, you know, in killers, mm -hmm. right? Where, like, they kind of often float between the masculine and the feminine, or in, even in some circumstances, like, like Sleepaway Camp, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen that movie. Gender surprise. Surprise, motherfucker. I really appreciate Eli, the way that Eli's gender fluidity actually moves beyond even cultural's general sense of traditional masculinity and femininity. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure I have uh, anything else to say. No, that's fair. I just, that's, I can just put a period on the end of that sentence. One of the things that I love in the context of this, of this queer love story is that Oscar chooses Eli regardless of gender identity, but also regardless of traditional definitions of humanity, because Eli is a vampire. And He's so a human essentially. Yes. And preys on humans. Who preys on humans to stay alive. But I think that Oscar finds more humanity in Eli as a person right. than he does in any of his peer groups. Interestingly, you know, thinking about what you said earlier about about the first companion, I didn't catch their name. I don't Eli's think that they weren't. I, yeah, I don't think they were named. Being, you know, having been around so long that they've lost their humanity. What if, you know, I mean, the movie sort of lightly hints that like that's Eli's future. Sure. I right? mean, I think what if that the... guy's been around since he was a kid and he was, yes. you know, yeah, he just aged alongside of Eli, and that's how that ended. Yes. Yeah. It's terrifying and sad. And it's terrible. Also heartwarming that like just gave his life to this person you love, right? Yeah. Internet. Internet. What would your relationship agreements be with a vampire? You know, just maybe don't kill me. All right. What would I rate this? I would rate this vampire film a nine. I wasn't asking you to do the number. Too <laughs> bad. Yeah, I would give this a nine also. Case is so good. Yeah, I love this yeah. film. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Still one of my favorite vampire films, along with Only Lovers Left Alive, mm. Jim Jarmusch. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Another gorgeously shot slow burn of a film. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Girl Walks Home Alone at Midnight. Which I still haven't seen. 
you're going to watch it for this channel eventually. It's gorgeous. It's an Iranian black and white vampire film and has one of the best curated soundtracks mm. ever. So good. What are your favorite vampire movies and what vampire movies should we add to our list if they're not already? Yeah. For our movie horror movie watching quest here and would you like to see us respond to any of our favorites that we've just listed yes yes have you seen have any you of our seen favorites? them do you like them yeah what do you think of them um, and yeah and that wraps up another week on uh, two geeks on the couch phew thank you for coming along for the ride we um, really appreciate your sticking, company sticking with us through anyway thank you so much for coming along again if you want to support us Boop that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment, and if you really want to dig deeper, head on over to the Patreon. You'll find a lot more of this there for your viewing. Pleasure. Have a good night. Sweet dreams, everybody.